To connect a cell phone or tablet to the Jolt app, first be sure to download the correct app from the Google Play or Apple App Store. You want Jolt, Safety, and Operations. Once the app is downloaded, you'll see this screen. First, let's review how admins sign into the app on a personal cell phone. Tap Sign In. Then, enter your username and password. This is the same email and password that you use to log into Jolt.com. You'll see a list of all locations you have access to. Select one location to get started. Tap on continue. The data will begin to import into your device. Once the download is complete, tap on finished. And now you'll have access to all features that are available in your location. To connect additional locations, go to Settings and Locations, and then tap on the blue plus sign. Repeat the process to sign in to more locations. Next, to set up a tablet that employees can share at your store, we'll start again at the login screen. You will also want to have a desktop computer logged into jolt.com as an admin. Tap on connect to a location. Tap on scan QR code. On the Jolt web portal, go to the menu on the left side, click settings and devices. On this page, you'll see the QR code. Back on the tablet, scan this QR code. The data for the location will begin to import. Once the data is imported, your employees will be able to take turns using this device to record their work using their PIN. Tap on Login, tap on the employee name, and enter in the four-digit PIN. These QR codes can only be used once, so if you need to connect your account to more than one tablet, just refresh the screen and the system will generate a brand new QR code. On this page, you can also manage all devices connected to the Jolt app. For example, if you want to change the name of an iPad, click on the device and just change the name to something like back of house iPad. Make sure to save on the top right. You'll also be able to monitor the creation date when the device was first connected to your Jolt account, as well as the last sync time for the device. It's recommended that you check the sync times regularly to ensure that your data is being backed up correctly.